The K-pop musical announced its closing this week, and surprisingly, it will close on Sunday, December 11th, after announcing the close on December 7th. This is reasonably shocking timing in general for a Broadway musical to close. So I'm Matt Rosu, I'm Dean of the Sigmund Y School of Business at Susquehanna University, and I'm a professor of economics, and I love examining issues of pop culture and trying to figure out what are the economic lessons we can learn from them. So in general, a Broadway show does not shut its doors in early December. The reasoning is the final week of the year is the most lucrative week of the year for Broadway shows. The week between Christmas and New Year's is the time where shows can make the most money they can possibly make. Looking back at Broadway grosses, you could see that the 52nd week of the year makes often 50% more approximately in revenue per show on average than the 50th week of the year. So the time between Christmas and New Year's, right, it's travel time. People want to go in the city. A lot of people have time off. They want to catch a show. Shows are, more seats are sold and for a higher price. So a lot of struggling shows will, if they make it to this point in time, what they will attempt to do is close in early January. So then you can get those sold out weeks to make a little bit of extra money for the investors. So what happened here? that caused the problems? Well, the grosses for this show were stunningly low and nowhere near the mark where they were even dreaming about making a profit. So in order to announce a closing uh, on a Wednesday and close on a Sunday, a few weeks before the week between Christmas and New Year's when the demand will go through the roof, as a show, the producers realized the money they're going to lose over the next couple of weeks will not be enough to offset any potential profits for, you know, the week between, let's say, let's say it's December 26th through January 3rd or approximately, you know, that time frame when they might be able to sell out. Looking on Broadway grosses, Broadway World's uh, Broadway grosses here, we can see the grosses for the show uh, were most of the time between about 125,000 to 200,000. One week it, it exceeded 200 barely. And that's simply not going to cut it. This has a big cast. Each cast member, even if they're making Broadway minimum, is pulling in um, a couple grand a week. Plus there's all of the benefits. Plus there's all of the, the building has to operate and you need all of the behind the scenes folks, you need the folks at the ticket booth, you need ushers, uh, light, people with lights, costume, uh, costume designers who are uh, available. The cost for the show, they were probably losing 100, 200, 300 thousand dollars or more per week. So, you know, losing 300,000 the next two weeks, unless you think you're gonna make a million dollars in the week between Christmas and New Year's, right? I mean, you're just, it, it wasn't going to work. So it, it's kind of funny. I mean, the show, um, Broadway audiences typically aren't super young. K-pop is something that's often appealing a little bit more to uh, younger folks, right? It's K-pop is short for Korean pop music. It, it just wasn't able to find an audience, which is unfortunate. You never like to see a show close. Uh, but a little bit on, uh, it's a weird situation. Wanted to talk a little bit about the economics behind this. Uh, if you enjoy this type of content, hope you'll click like. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, my name's Matt Rosu, and I'll see you in the next video.